pieces. Leading indicators, uh, okay, they try to predict the future. They are used to exit a trade very often, uh, sometimes to enter a trade. Uh, it tells you where the top and bottom of, uh, is, is going to be. Whether it's price or market, it doesn't matter. For example, how many people would like to know at the very beginning of the day what the top of the market is going to be and what the bottom of the market is going to be before you even start trading? How many people would like to know that? Okay, guess what? I'm going to show you how. With reasonable certainty, all you have to do is figure out whether it's going to go up or down. I don't know that, but I can tell you where the top and bottom is going to be. All right, so when you read all those analyst reports, they're like, oh, the top's going to be 159.58. You're like, how did you come up with that? It's easy. Let me show you how to do it yourself. Okay? Okay, so pivots will locate the, the market support and resistance. Again, different from price. Okay? And FIB studies will show you price support and resistance, the top and bottom based on price. Okay? So let's start with Fibonacci retracements. So that's what they look like. What you're doing is measuring swing highs and swing lows, or swing lows and swing highs, but you're measuring sort of a move. It's subjective, okay? It's very subjective. You're measuring price action here, okay? Now remember, markets and price, they're not, they don't move in a straight line, okay? So if you discern, if you look at your charts and you say it's a down market, well, guess what? Price is going to go down most of the time, but some of the time it's going to go up. So if you say the market's down, price is going to go down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up down, 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 up, up, okay? It's just normal. So we're going to use that to our advantage, okay? I hate riding out those pullbacks. Don't you just hate it? You're up like 15 pips and all of a sudden you're down 30. And you're, you know, oh, that's the worst feeling in the world. So you can use these leading indicators to just cut that out of your trading, okay? So let's talk about this, okay? So it's a, it's a normal thing, all right? A normal thing for the, for, to have these pullbacks, okay? If it's an up market, it's up, up, up. Back, back. What's happening is some traders are getting scared, they're taking profit, and then it fades, and then it attracts new traders, and off it goes. And then, and then depending on where you get in, suddenly you got 58 pips, you're like, oh, I don't want to lose that. We're coming up against resistance. So you take a few trades off, right? Take a few pips off. Well, that's all that's happening. People are, depending on where you're in, they're, they're locking in some profit, taking some profit off the table, and there's a little pullback. But there's still a trend in play, okay? So you're, you're going to use this to your advantage. So, like, here's an example of uh, Microsoft changing my PowerPoint presentation in the middle of the night. I, I can't even read that. Uh, fib retracement ratios are based on original. Okay, so here's what I'm trying to say, okay, because it's hard to read that. What you're trying to do is you're looking for the pullbacks, okay? If you're in a down market, okay, you want to sell at resistance. If you're in an up market, you want to buy at support, okay? So clearly, this looks like it's going down, down, down. What you want to measure is when it comes back, Okay, back against the direction of the original move, how far back is it going to go? The farther back it goes, the less confidence you should have in a continuation pattern. So if it, if, if it just comes back 38.2 and then down, 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 down again, woohoo, start shorting. Because now you have confidence. It's going to keep falling because hardly any bulls got into that trade. It was just, it pulled back a little bit. Most likely bears is taking profit and then more people got in and kept it moving. But if it comes way back here, the farther it comes up in the downtrend, the more you're scared that, you know what, some of these traders are getting out and they're not getting back in. So it's a heads up. It's a way for you to adjust your expectations. Okay? So again, if you're bullish, you want to buy on the dips. If you're bearish, you want to sell on the rallies because you know it's going to continue. More, more often than not, if the market's falling, price is going to want to fall more, okay? So you're trying to get into that. So again, if you're just looking at this chart, you're not sure what to make. Over here, it's the exact same move, but now it's outlined. Now you can see we have a 50% Fibonacci retracement and a pullback to that long-term trend, the 200 EMA, and look, a 5.8 cross. It's starting all over again. We pulled back to the fair market value, the 200 EMA, a 5A cross at a 50%. So now you've got those moving averages again. Momentum is starting to pick up to the downs, downside at a 50% pullback, right in your little trade zone. That's anywhere between the 382 and the 618. That's perfect. I want it to fall here. And then sure enough, right when I want it to fall, I get momentum. So I might, I might start putting in a sell trade in there somewhere. Okay? So again, you're trying to look at the moving averages, 
and it comes back to the 200 EMA, and then it's, all those moving averages are going to reset, and pretty soon you're going to see the 5.8 down to 21.55. You can just see crossed. Everything's starting to fall at a 50% retracement, which means it wants to fall too. So now you've got fibs down, market down, price down. Don't go long is the number one rule, and the second one is maybe look for an opportunity to short. But here's what's cool about it. Based on the pullback, you can, you can guesstimate where price is going to go. This is the leading part. So when you're here and you see this 382 and all of a sudden the market and price both start to fall at a 382 retracement and a downtrend, okay, you're thinking down, but now based on the 382, the pullback, the 38.2% pullback, now you're guesstimating that price is going to fall to the 1618 Fibonacci extension. You're now predicting the future. It's a leading indicator. The pullback tells you where it's going to go, okay? And in this example, you can see that it did go to the 1618, and then it went down even farther, okay? But that's a 382 to 1618. It's so common that the FX Bootcamp um, phone number is 888-618-1382. You can get a 618 to 1382, which is very, very similar, okay? So you can write these down, okay? The, you can, the, the, the extensions that I use is the 121.4, the 1382, the 1618, okay? So a 382 is going to lead to a 1618. A 618 is going to lead to a 1382. Again, the farther pullback, a 68% pullback means, boy, that pullback was quite a ways into the existing trend, so we're more susceptible to a double top there, or, you know, because there's, there's so much pullback. But a hardly any of a little pullback, a 40% pullback, and, and then it starts extending, it's going to extend far, at least to the 1618, maybe even beyond. Okay? So again, a 382 predicted a 1618. You probably would have taken profit in here. Either direction, it doesn't matter. All you have to do is discern whether you, you think the market's going up or down. 